Hey Aquarius, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm here to do your readings. What's going on with you this week? What do you need to hear and know for this week? Aquarius, five of pentacles, okay? We have the nine of pentacles. Some of you are stepping up financially, going from the five to the nine. So there could be a big jump for you. Someone could also be feeling left out in the cold from you. This could be someone missing you or, you know, wanting to talk to you as well, okay? You could be in this place where you are kind of standing by yourself or standing alone as well, okay? As I always say, put the characters where they go. The stories could be flipped or reversed. You guys, we do have people doing lawn work. I'm so sorry. That is loud. But let's see what else is coming out for you. Ace of Wands. Yeah. Some of you are starting something brand new. You're starting something new. And I feel like this could be someone, um, as far as your love life, someone missing you or wanting to see what's going on with you. Someone very attracted to you. Or some of you starting something brand new with your finances. Some of you starting something that you're passionate about. Let's see what this is. Five of Pentacles. Four Aquarius. Let's get into it. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. Two of Pentacles. Whoa. Lots of Pentacles energy and the Ace of Pentacles. There's something financial going on here with you, Aquarius. This could be about your future, Will of Fortune. Okay. So your money could be stepping up. You could be deciding uh, between an offer here. Some of you thinking about your past where there may not have been that much. And it's like I'm deciding whether I want to stay somewhere or whether I want the ace of pentacles. So you could be trying to decide whether to stay at a at an old job, leave to go to another job or get something bigger, better. Some of you are feeling like maybe you weren't making enough money, something like that, okay? So getting back to your love life, I feel like this is someone who has been waiting possibly to hear from you. Someone could want to offer you the Ace of Pentacles, something very solid, stable, something tangible, okay? Could be a relationship, could be a move, okay? Someone wanting to offer you something. And when I say move, like offering you to live with them, there could be and uh, an offer of you going to the next level with someone. What's this nine of pentacles? Show me for Aquarius. The 10 of swords is here. The three of pentacles. And we have the king of cups. Whoa. Sorry, you guys. That's someone talking with the lawn people. I swear. They choose the most random times to do stuff. But I feel like with the Ten of Swords and the Three of Pentacles, I feel like here, like someone, this could be a water sign. Yes, someone is finding you very attractive, but here someone is feeling sad, sad that something is over. Someone is feeling sad that something could be over here. Yeah, now you could live around this person for some of you with the energy of the Three of Pentacles. Let's see. This could be an emperor, a boss, a manager, someone with a, a status, okay, with the energy of the emperor. This could be an Aries for some of you or someone with that in their chart. Emperor with the sun and the ten of pentacles. Wow. It's like someone sees happiness with you, longevity with you. They want this with you, but something ended. Maybe they were dating someone else and maybe maybe this person got single. Maybe they became single. Maybe this person had to lose a job. I do see that as well. This person lost a job. Oh, with the Ten of Swords and Three of Pentacles, a job could have been lost here. I feel like someone here moved on in some type of way. Whether they were in a relationship or you were... Or this person worked with you and this job was lost. Now somebody has leveled up. I feel like going from the King of Cups to the Emperor, 
Someone has stepped up financially or someone has stepped up when it comes to what they have to offer you in a relationship. The sun with the ten of pentacles. Ten of... Ten of swords, now the ten of pentacles, now we got the ten of cups. It just keeps getting better. So something was not working out in the past and now things are really starting to work out or something is getting ready to turn around for you or this person. Okay, Ace of Wands. You may even hear that this person has stepped out of a relationship or they broke up with someone. Maybe they went through a divorce, something like that. Ace of Wands, what's going on? With this Ace of Wands over here. Page of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Oh, okay. Well, we pulled two. Now we have the Queen of Cups and Six of Pentacles. Mm. So, I mean, I didn't want to read it as a third party. There could be a third party. Okay, with someone, you know, releasing a past person to come toward you. They have feelings toward you. They want to invest in you. They feel passion toward you. Ace of Wands. Okay. It may be a case of bad timing where this person met you at the wrong time as well. How is Aquarius feeling or thinking about this person? Two of Wands. So you you kind of have your eye on them. You may be like, mm, I don't know. I'm not sure. With the Two of Wands, Four of Swords, you don't want to be hurt. Six of Wands. Yeah. You kind of want to leave it alone and I feel like you just kind of want to move on in maybe your single status. You may feel like it's not a good idea to invest with the energy of the four of swords, six of wands, seven of swords, and the harfon. Yeah, I don't know. This may be somebody like who's older than you or someone who's who has... I feel like status, someone who is in a certain position. Now, this person could be married as well. Seven of Swords with the uh, Hierophant. There could have been temptation with the energy of deception here. Okay, there could have been some sneaking around. There could be some temptation here. <clears throat> so you have a decision to make, okay, with this person. They could be highly tempting for you. What is this person's intentions with Aquarius? Eight of Wands. Okay. You, the star. So they Eight of Wands with the star. They want to talk to you. They want to see you. This person may wish that they could message you. The devil energy, but there's something toxic here. This person could be obsessed as well. What's that devil energy? Nine of Cups. This is a lot of desire. Woo! obsession passion desire <clears throat> but when when the devil is touching the nine of cups that's like that's like a desire that has to be kept secret or something is very very hush hush or has to be hush hush that's why there's regret five of cups so someone here is like secretly obsessing they want you they desire you Show me this energy of this person. Seven of Wands. Three of Wands. They may even like try to remain distant from you because you're so tempting to this person. So the both of you may tempt each other. Yeah, King of Pentacles. They may have to stay distant. Maybe they're already involved in a relationship or they could be involved with an Earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. <clears throat> yeah, this person, they may desire you a lot, but they don't show you that they desire you this much. Hangman, Pisces energy. Yeah, with the Page of Wands. They may say little things to you. They may flirt. The full energy is here with the two of swords, but they don't know if they should actually take this leap of faith. It's like they're they're fighting uh, the temptation to flirt with you or they're let me say this. They're fly, fighting the temptation to be with you. And so it's just like they kind of hang back and watch you, 
but they don't know if they should even take this leap of faith. What else is going on in this connection? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Four of Wands with the Hermit. Yeah, someone is in a relationship here. They're stuck in a relationship. Eight of Swords with the Hermit. Yeah, they could be in a boring relationship with the hermit, not feeling satisfied, not feeling fulfilled. They may feel like they're just growing old or time is passing. When I see the hermit, he looks old, worn out. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then the Eight of Swords, it's like someone feels stuck or chained. This person could be putting on a facade, you know, for their family or for their spouse for their boyfriend, girlfriend, Ten of Wands. They feel overwhelmed here because they feel passionate about you, lovers. They feel very passionate about you, very passionate. Yeah, coming out as the King of Wands now. Oh gosh, so someone is stuck in something else, but wanting to be with you, I do see you deciding whether or not you want to entertain this person. You could be thinking about it. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on in this connection? Give us some more insight. What's going on? They'll be back. Yeah. So if they haven't said anything right now, if this person, like I said, they may seem a bit distant because they're trying to figure out what they want to do, they'll be back. It says expect to hear from them soon. So this may be someone, um, well, I feel already that this is someone that you know. This is someone that you may have briefly encountered and there was a spark with that ace of wands. There was some fire or passion between the two of you. This person will be back. Guardian, it says a loved, a loved one watches over you. And what I just got with this is like someone may be uh, trying to protect you from this person on the other side. Like, hey, it's not a good idea. This could be toxic. But I'm also getting like, you need to guard yourself, guard yourself. Okay. So if you know this person is in another relationship or they're coming in with a lot of baggage, you may want to have your guards up. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, gold digger. Whoa, what? They want your money being used. Now this could be for the cross watcher. Okay. Like I said, put the characters where they go. If you're a cross watcher interested in an Aquarius, you could be dealing with a gold digger. You could feel unfulfilled in a current relationship that you're dealing with. You may feel more so connected to Aquarius, wanting Aquarius. Okay. Now Aquarius, if you have stepped up financially as I was getting, if you've stepped up financially in some type of way, um, you may be leery or may feel leery of gold diggers. Okay. Someone who wants you just for your money or your status or what you've done with your life. You may feel that way. Okay. Someone may look at you as a gold digger. I always say, just put the characters where they go. Vice versa. Okay. Divine spirit, Holy spirit. What else? Confession. Yeah. Someone has something to tell you. I feel like this person needs to tell you how they feel or give you a final decision or this person just needs to confess, you know, that they have feelings for you that are deeper than friendship or deeper than like a coworker or working relationship. One more manifest. Yeah. This person needs to manifest this confession. They need to tell you what's going on with them. Okay. What else? Let me come to this deck. What does Aquarius need to hear or know? Give me one card for Aquarius in the situation. Whoa. Well, I asked for one card and I think three fell out. Impasse fell out. So this could be a, a short detour. You may have to go through this. Some of you may have to go through this with this person. This could be a lesson that you need to learn. Something to learn from this person. Okay. If you don't end up with them. Acceptance is here. Okay, some of you, if you're uh, going up for <clears throat> some type of move or promotion or some type of big change, you may need to accept uh, a position or you may need to accept that things are changing in your life. It's all about how you perceive things. Perception is also here. Okay, 
It's all about how you perceive something. So for you, is the glass half empty or is it half full? Is it a good decision for you? When it comes to this person as well, is this a good decision for you to make? <clears throat> okay, in your life at this time? Or will this person just bring heartache? Okay, are you the rebound for this person? You need to like look at it in a different way. It's all about how you perceive things. Okay? Alrighty, Aquarius, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.